Welcome to this special video. I didn't expect this to be the first collaboration between Happy Box <laughs> and Other and Weasel. Yeah. But it is what it is, because Sad something times. happened this week, and Ryan and I were quite affected by it. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it, Ryan? Well, like Monty Ohm, who, if none of you know, uh, he Mon he's a... Would you say he's the lead animator of Rooster Teeth? I, I would say, yeah. On most, he's of the, on most of the projects. He's worked on stuff like Red vs. Blue, and Ruby, and Haloid, and he... He recently just passed away after falling into a coma from a, an allergic reaction in a in some sort of surgery. Yeah, like a, a normal surgical procedure, actually. And and somehow he he got an allergic reaction from it and fell into a coma. And he didn't recover. He uh, fought hard, but he did not make it. I'm afraid. Five days ago he was hospitalized, and two days ago they reported he uh, had passed away. I like, I almost, I really can't, I still can't wrap my head around it. I can't like, like, I, I can't yeah. believe he's actually like gone. I know what you mean, man. Like when I heard it, like sometimes you hear people dying from uh, the entertainment world and stuff. And especially when it comes to TV, I don't have that much of a connection. It's someone from the internet, like it's closer to us, you know? Yeah, it's, it's, it's weird because I've, I've lived for like, almost 18 years now and I've never really like lost someone no like I've never been to a funeral I've never cried over someone dying and like I don't know finding out about Monty's death it made it made me feel like empty almost cuz he was a uh, he was a fucking inspiration dude like he's 33 years old see what the hell he already achieved I was, I was like I'm not an animator or anything but I respect that dude so much for his attitude and mentality yeah, like, I have no doubt in my mind that he has inspired hundreds, maybe even thousands of people to become, uh, like, animators or just to aspire to work for Rooster Teeth. Yeah, exactly. Like, his first project, you already mentioned it, Hayloid. He did that shit. I think he had some assistance from, like, professional uh, groups, but he did it all just to, to put it out there as a sort of fan fiction. I mean, of course, he also put it out to show, like, hey, this is what I can do. But he didn't make it for a company at the time, and it, it just look at looking back at that shit. It's just how the fuck do you have the time, the inspiration, and the attitude to make such stuff? That was made a very, very long time ago, and that was like yeah. one of the pieces of work that like got him we're, working we're, for it. Exactly, we're Red talking about too. Halo Two stuff here, people, and the, the engine of the the Metro, uh. and just the animations he pulled out of that shit, like. I was amazed it didn't get pulled down at the time by the uh, original uh, studios like Bungie and stuff because it looked a lot more awesome than in-game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it it really looked amazing. It was. Did we did we explain what Haloid was to anyone who doesn't oh, know what Haloid oh, is? Oh, that, <laughs> that might be a good <laughs> thing as well. It's Halo and Metroid mashed up together in just a big fight fight fest with awesome moves, explosions, rockets. Uh, Matrix style moves, whatever, and ended with a nice girl and girl hug. Yeah, that was that was fucking awesome. That ending, <laughs> like, who's Chief? Chief's also a girl. Why not? Uh, all right. Fuck and then it. and then they danced. <laughs> and then they walk off into the sunset. Yeah, and we didn't mention it, but he's also done stuff like Dead Fantasy. I don't know if you've seen that, um, Otto. I, but no, he's also, I didn't he's, know that one. Well, Dead Fantasy, it was another series um, Monty did that was very similar to Haloid, where he mashed up the franchises Dead or Alive and Final Fantasy. And really? like, typical like, Monty fashion, they were all female. <laughs> and unlike Haloid, it was multiple episodes, it wasn't just one. It was, really? Like, it was a series? Yeah, it was a, it was, yeah, it was a series, and I can't remember how, how much it went up to, but some of them were really long. Like, some of them were, like, past 10 minutes. Jeez. It just get, kept getting crazier and crazier, where they were, like, fighting in a volcano, or fighting in a tornado, or, like, it was it was just <laughs> craziest, craziest, like, he awesome was, stuff. He was, he was crazy, man. Like, did you ever see that the uh, fighting scene from Red vs. Blue with Tex? That yes. famous one? That was actually... That one is fucking amazing. Like, like, um... That was actually one of my first, like, 
Rooster Teeth videos that I've ever seen was um, from I I can't remember I believe it was season eight. Yeah. When Tex was just kicking the crap out of the Reds and Blues, and, and I re just... and I remember the map as well. It was on the Foundry <laughs> map, which is the best map of all Halo Three. They really picked it out really well. It was it was amazingly animated. It was like it blew my mind. Just that the, definitely. Just that the, those moments with the teleporters where. You're, just that rocket goes to the teleporter, hits the guy, then the guy goes through the other teleporter and <laughs> just comes up the text to get punched in the face. And just like, Monty, how the fuck do you come up with that shit? I, it was, it was, I, 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 was, assu I assume he came up with it, I'm not sure, but... I don't, I don't know, I, I, he might have, I think he came up with it. With it's, like, it suited his style, you know. It was, I also found it like really funny like how the running joke throughout that fight was how Tex kept punching Griff in the dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, Why? <laughs> it was it was so amazing. It definitely, what, like that that was probably my first Monty Om animation that I saw of his, and that's what got me into watching like mm -hmm. Payload and their fantasy. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Don't, and don't forget like his recent work, which a lot of people are probably gonna miss if it doesn't continue because Ruby was pretty oh fucking God, awesome Ruby. as well. Oh, I thought Ruby. I'm. He digs chicks, we know that much. <laughs> he definitely digs chicks. <laughs> and it's okay, like, because I loved Ruby, man. Like, the whole concept of just those uh, fairy tale characters with a little bit of a twist behind it. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah a lot of people were like, uh, there's no anime, blah, 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 blah. Some people oh, like, yeah. yeah. It was just this old whole big thing, and, like, no one it's, really cared. It's, it was not, like, it's not a real anime. <laughs> it's shut, like... Shut the, shut the fuck up. Like, even, even if it... Is or it isn't? Like, does that really take anything away from it? It's well, still sometimes things speak for themselves, you know. Like yeah. people are just like, oh, it's not a real anime, no, but it's still on the top of the charts of freaking Crunchyroll. I mean, uh, <laughs> take that. <laughs> it's it's and it's still fun and like enjoyable, even though people loved it. Period. Yeah, it, I like I loved it and like yeah, same. I don't know. I feel like when I found out that he died, I felt. Like horrible, like I could not believe it. Yeah. Like, like even like the next morning, I couldn't believe it. I thought it was all like all a dream, but like. And some people pointed out, which is a good point, because of course you have these people on the internet who are just dicks, and you have the insensitive people, and some of them were like, "Oh no, no Ruby anymore." Yeah, that's insensitive. That's true. And some people might be thinking, like, we're mostly talking about his work. Like, isn't that also insensitive because his families and his friends and stuff? Yeah. Well, maybe, but we're not close to them, you know. We can only pay our condolences to them, which we did. Yeah, neither of us, neither we're, of us yeah. know Monty or have ever met him. Like Peter, oh. Otto, I don't know if <laughs> Otto, I don't know if if you, you by any chance met him in a convention or something. But oh, I, I would have loved to, but no, I've never met him before, and it's it's like a really really. It's, it's such a shame. We know, we know him through his work, you know, that's the whole thing. Like, when I think of Monty, I think of his work. Because he's his eccentric attitude. Did you ever hear that story that he ripped off, like, keys from his keyboard he never used so he could work yeah. more efficiently? And, yeah. I, just, I just love stuff he, like that. He was, he was very... He was all about efficiency and yeah. stuff. No sleep. <laughs> he, was, he was definitely a, a true inspiration, I guess. Like, I, I might even go as far go as far as to say... He kind of shapes me to be who I am, like, because I want to be an anime as well now. Yeah. And he was a very big inspiration to me, and, like, I can't even imagine how his friends and family feel. Also, do you have, like, a first Monty video that you saw? Oh, uh, well... Like, how did you find out about him? How did I find out about Monty? Well, I stepped in the rooster teeth mostly via rage quit. That's just another way, but <laughs> <laughs> I think the first time I saw him was actually just on a podcast, and I was just like, "Who's this Final Fantasy dude?" Because <laughs> I, I never knew or saw him before. And then I started watching a little bit of Red vs Blue, and then I, and then I came up to the seasons with the, the animations. I was like, "This looks pretty damn cool." And then they came with an uh, announcement for. Uh... Oh, did you hear that? Yeah. Don't yeah. worry. <laughs> I bumped my microphone. <laughs> And then I heard about Ruby and I started watching that and I was just like, wow. <laughs> when I saw those trailers, I was just drooling all over the place, man. Those trailers were top notch. I love them. Yeah, Monty was definitely like a master at fighting scenes. He and, loved like, him. He loved life and, and he loved just doing his thing. 
That's what that's what I what I respected about and what's the biggest inspiration for me. Like I said, I don't do much with animation. I'm a video editor. I make videos. I entertain. But that's what he did as well. But just with uh, animating, you know. At the end of the day, we're still all content creators. Yeah, he even said, I, I believe in like some sort of interview, like he he talks about how fortunate he is to be doing the stuff that he loves, and he lets people kind of understand that. I guess it's I don't, I don't know. Like, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, well, I, no, no, no. I know what you mean. Like the whole mentality of him is that he's very. Uh, he really wants to work hard. He knows you have to work hard to achieve stuff in the in this world. Yeah. Especially in the field of content creation, and he's very thankful for it, that he can do it, that people yeah. acknowledge it, and that he made fan bases and stuff. That's what buggers me the most. Is is that a good sentence? Bugger me the most? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as that's... as someone from England, I approve. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that that's what buggers me the most about his loss, man. I mean, he was just a great fucking guy, and like so young as well, like yeah. thirty-three. Like wow. I know, man. Have you seen any of his older tweets that people have been retweeting? Yeah, yeah. Like, that, recently. I, I couldn't watch that, like, the first day. So it was like, not now, please. Like, his inspirational tweets that yeah. he, he tweeted out a couple years ago. And it, like, really makes you, like, think about life and, like, how mm -hmm. you shouldn't, like, take anything for granted and, like... Exactly. I don't know, just, like... Be happy, be happy with what you have and be happy with what you achieve. You can always, yeah. do, you can always do better, but at least acknowledge what you have so far and like be happy with like the people you're with because you never know how long they're gonna be with you exactly exactly did you did you by any chance see the the video they put up on uh, their the no channel the no channel um you know the channel right yeah yeah w was it with meg yeah yes, that, I did see that it. shit it was hard to watch broke me dude Seriously. It, was, it was it was really yeah, I, like, I say kudos to her that she did it yeah like props to meg for like having the courage being able to do that the whole the whole symbol thing i don't know if you noticed it but almost every video so far they're all wearing black thought it was pretty cool but if to, if we've learned anything from monty i think we should definitely always be trying our best and like definitely yeah don't be afraid to like don't be afraid to fail yeah. don't, don't be afraid, be afraid to, to be the person you want to be exactly don't take anything for granted cherish what you have and just work hard but yeah, we'll, we'll definitely, the community and we will definitely miss Monty. So, on behalf of Otter and Weasel, I was Otter. And on behalf of Happy Box, I was Ryan. And, and goodbye. goodbye, Monty. We'll miss you. We will miss you. <laughs>